Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. So today I'm going to show you how to set up a bed visualizer plugin without Optiprint. I did a video kind of covering how to set it up with Optiprint um, probably about six months ago. And then from there I've had a lot of people ask if there's any solutions that they can use if they don't have Optiprint. And the short answer is yes. It's not quite as clean, uh, but it does work just fine. Uh, basically you just have to connect your printer to your computer with Prompterface and uh, just run your G29 command, which I'll show you how to do all this here in a second, and uh, take the output and, well, you can see uh, the actual numbers there, so if that's good enough, uh, you can use that to just tweak the bed level, or you can actually take it over to a website, just plug it in and hit visualize, and it'll give you basically the same graph that you would get if you had uh, the bed visualizer plug in inside of Octoprint. Uh, it works just fine, just a couple extra steps. Uh, this is really for anybody who's using uh, Marlin firmware. Uh, I know a lot of the Creality printers by default now with the newer screens have a visualizer kind of built in, which I'll show you in a second. Like my Interfi Plus here has it built in on the screen for the Creality firmware. If I was to switch over to Marlin, it wouldn't. I think the Ender 3 V2 has it. I think the S1 as well. But if you're running some of like the older uh, Ender 3 Pros, CR10s, or whatever the case may be with the stop screen, that's just not going to be there. So uh, this is a good solution. It if you're running one of those printers and you don't want to set up Octoprint. So before we jump over to the computer though, I'll show you what it actually looks like on the Creality firmware. If you have a screen that supports it, I'll use my Ender 5 Plus here and then we'll jump over to the computer. If you have any questions about the process or would like to see any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. It'll really help grow the channel. Thanks. All right, so depending upon the Creality printer and firmware you're using, uh, you might have this visualizer built in, which is why I want to show you really quick. If you go into settings, uh, under leveling on this printer, uh, after it does the auto home, you can see your grid here. Uh, this is showing you all the points that it's actually measuring. Um, some of the printers, I think like the V2 actually shows you little colored blocks and then with the measurements in the blocks, uh, it's just a different way to visualize it. Um, but this is all the data you would need. Uh, so if you're, if you're running one of these printers with the Creality firmware, this might just be what you're looking for, which is why I wanted to show you here versus having you connect it to the computer and go through the process of connecting prompter face and all of that. All right, so let's go ahead and jump over to the computer. All right, guys, now that we're here at the computer, uh, the first thing we want to do is connect our printer with Pronterface. If you haven't already done this, I have a video covering that complete process, so I'll link to that below. Um, but yeah, once you're connected, uh, we want to go ahead and send the G28 command just to auto home everything. And then after that, we'll send the G29 command to run our mesh and to get our numbers. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. And I will speed this up while it's doing the auto home and the mesh. All right, so we just finished the auto home. Let's go ahead and kick off the mesh. So G29. All right, so it finished running the G29 command and gave us our output. Uh, so this is similar to uh, what some of the Creality screens will do automatically, is it kind of maps out where your high and low points are. So you've got zero, zero, uh, so it's gonna be probe one, two, and three. So this is gonna be your front left, um, middle, and right and then your middle, and then your back here. And then this tells you whether it's um, a little higher, a little low, or potentially a lot higher, a lot low, uh, based on center. Uh, so overall, this bed's not very level. I kind of purposely unleveled it uh, just for this video to kind of use it as an example. All right, so we have two choices here. We can either just use these values as is and make our adjustments, or if you wanna see it uh, visualized, we can just copy these rows here and then go over to our site or um, there's a couple tools as well you can download and install if you wanted to um, but that can visualize it so we will just erase all the data in here so just control a delete and then uh, paste the values we just copied hit visualize now this shows you what it looks like all right so again this wasn't level like i said i purposely unleveled it a little bit just for this video um, but this is going to be similar to the graph you would get if you were running the bed visualizer in Octoprint. Um, it's a really simple tool. It's really easy to actually set this up, and you don't have to have a Raspberry Pi or anything like that to get the benefits. Um, but there are a couple extra steps. With the bed visualizer plugin, you just uh, hit the button and it kind of just goes for you, then uh, puts the output on the screen. We're here. Uh, you just run your G29 command. You got to copy the output out, go to the website and paste it in. But it is a great option if you don't have 
a Raspberry Pi or don't want to set up Octoprint, like I said. And then this is the front left of the bed. Uh, so it's going to be front left just as if it was going through the probe. So here would be probe one, two, and three. And you can validate this if you have questions by changing one of the values. Let's just say I added a one here as an example. It's going to change that front right uh, drastically. So yeah. I'm going to change that back. But yeah, I mean, that's really all there is to it. I mean, like I said, <clears throat> I mentioned there is software that you can use that will build the graph for you. But with there being just a free web browser base that I'll link to below, I don't see the point in using it. I mean, this works just fine. Uh, if you have a Raspberry Pi with Octoprint, great. Obviously, that's going to be the better choice because you're already going to have it connected and everything's going to be there. Um, but if you don't, just connecting your computer with Pronterface, running the uh, G28, then G29 commands, and copying the value over here gives you pretty much the same thing. Uh, if you have any questions about this or would like to see any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. All right, guys, so that covered the process of setting up a bed visualizer if you don't have Octoprint or anything like that. Uh, as I said, during the whole process, it's really straightforward. It's just a couple extra steps. You're going to be running the G28 and G29 commands, whether you have Octoprint or not. It's just built into the plugin. It's one click or two clicks versus a couple clicks plus the um, copy over to the visualizer site. Uh, but it works just fine. And really, if you don't want to actually visualize it, you just want to see the data, um, you don't even have to take that second step of copying the actual grid over to uh, the site and hitting visualize because all the data is there. It just puts it in a pretty little graph. Um, so it really just depends what you're looking for. If you have any questions about the process or would like to see any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. 